Hello, and welcome to my companion tutorial on how to sync your audio to your video when converting a DVD to an XVID video. This video assumes you have watched my other videos about how to use DVD Shrink and Stack Rip. There's two major reasons why the audio will become unsynced when compared to the video image. Reason one is because of a little problem with tiny black cells, also known as tiny cells. These are small files at the beginning of a VOB file which the DVD player can read properly, but the various tools we use have a problem with. They end up causing a time shift with the audio when compared to the video, resulting in the audio of what a person is saying not syncing up with their lip movements, or exploding sounds not matching up with the actual visible explosions on screen. Reason two is when the DVD manufacturer has put a video clip at the beginning of the primary VOB file that does not contain any actual audio. Normally you will see this on a BBC or PBS video. The DVD structure tells the audio to not play until a certain point, but when you extract the VOBs the, and convert, this information is lost. This results in the audio being shifted forward because the audio starts immediately while the video it is supposed to be synced up with is waiting to be played. In either case, the solution is the same, and it is actually very simple to fix. You do not need another tool to fix this problem. You simply need to go back to the source and remove it from there. Since we're going to be removing it from the source, we're actually going to have to perform this work in DVD Shrink. So once we have our DVD loaded as we have done here, we go ahead and click on Reauthor. And as in my other video, we're going to extract the primary title. Now this particular one has all sorts of different stuff. It's because of the way this DVD was actually uh, um, created by the manufacturer. So we're going to go ahead and add this one in. And as you can see, it's been added over here. As always, go to Compression Settings and see if we have anything extraneous, and we do not. So the tiny cell portion of it, do a right click and go to Set Start in Frames. Now on this screen up here, you'll see that we can actually scroll through it, and you'll see the video itself. If you pull it all the way back to the left, you'll see that we start out with some black screens at the beginning. So we're going to skip to the right until we start to see an image. Now here, on my image, you can actually see a person sitting here in a chair. So I'm going to go back one. I'm going to go to the right so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to the left until he just disappears. Now I'm only clicking. This is one frame at a time. And I'm only going to click until he just disappears. And then I'm going to click OK. Now what this has done is it has removed the tiny cells at the very beginning of this file so that whenever we convert it, it won't have that problem. Now, let's say this was a BBC video. We have the same problem where audio doesn't sync up. So what we do is we move the file, or the start time, all the way over until we just see the actual video that we're wanting to have encoded pop up on the screen and then we click OK. And here we can see the first frame of our video where we're actually going to start the uh, rip at. Now the resulting VOB file will start here. You're not going to have the tiny cells and you're not going to have any type of intro information by BBC or whatever. So your audio will now be synced up with your video. So at this point we go ahead and click backup. We type in the name of our video. In this case we're going to call it Fruit Cake. Christmas and we go ahead and click OK and once again this is going to give us a file that is synced properly with the audio because that is our goal. Thank you once again for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section here on this YouTube video and as always you can find the various tools that I'm talking about to the right of this video in the information pane.